All right, Miss Sherry brought me out some fruit and cheese. Very nice. Just waiting on the client to pick up their uh, Memphis Mojo. So they had, um, they couldn't wait for the recon. So I ended up selling them a uh, Def Bonds. I don't think it's Def Bonds. I think it's a sister brand. It's called Avatar. It's the Avatar Storm. Dual 2, 15 inch. Sold him that one. He burned it up in like a couple days. I'm like, oh, that's your bad. And he's like, God damn it. Do I got to put another 165? I was like, yep, 165. And it's got the LVS cone. And then I, I was out of the the Mojo caps. It's actually the M6 cap. So I ended up using our fiberglass one laminate. Uh, let's see. What, I just did this video. Uh, this is the Niles. So <laughs> Niles is a high-end home audio brand. Uh, they make great equipment. It's just very, very expensive. Um, a new client. Um, he's, you know, makes good money. He's retired. And um, he had bought it for $2,200. And um, he killed it in like six months or something like that. And so um, I wanted to look at oh, he well, what ended up happening was he just bought a Velodyne instead, which again is a good brand. It's just very expensive. And uh, he's still not satisfied with the Velodyne. So I'm like, okay. So he asked me if I could make a house call, which I do. They're like a hundred bucks. I go over there and evaluate, tweak, and see if I can come up with something that he likes. And then basically I find out what he's missing, which is typically just a, a level of base performance. And then I can make my suggestions on how to augment it or, or replace it. So, cause he already burned up. Um, he killed this one, he killed the woofer, not the amp. Usually you kill the amps on this. But um, he killed the subwoofer, and I was expecting a burnt coil. It turns out it wasn't burnt. It was just um, he bottomed it out, and there was some rubbing on it, and it ended up doing just a like a prolapse butthole. So, but um, just and it snapped it. So it's a great looking cone. Uh, the surround's not too big, but then I looked at the spider. They're using a three inch coil with a seven inch spider, which I thought was kind of dumb. And uh, the the bolt pattern on it is 120 millimeter, which is not standard, but you know it's popular. I've I've seen it on uh, mostly on uh, Sundown on their SA series, but uh, seven inch spider landing, which I'm not a fan of. And then this is the hardware. This is what ho was holding that heavy motor on there. These tiny little screws. It's so ridiculous. These are like probably like number 1032s. Really tiny. And. Uh, but I, I do want to reuse it. He um, he ended up wanting to do an upgrade because he got the amp in the enclosure for nothing from his neighbor. And so I'm like, well, what do you want to spend? He's like 250. I'm like, okay, so what I'm going to do is basically a quad stack, um, the Twisted Sounds. Uh, let me show you the coil. So this guy. So with a seven inch spider, you should get some really good excursion. So, and it should be a little bit more punchy. You're limited to about 500 watts because it's in a uh, enclosure and, you know, you're limited to that. It's not like a car audio thing where you can, you know, change the woofer or change the amp out or whatever to get more power. So power handling will end up being about the same. Um, I'll basically confiscate his, uh, um, his motor and then do something else with it. So I'll probably put a sun, turn it into like a sundown looking thing. But uh, more on that and uh, I'll talk to you later tomorrow.